The IoT that is used in most of today's DTV transmitters is an electron tube. And like all tubes, it must be biased for it to function. The bias voltage in this case controls the gain of the tube and its base current or idle current when there is no RF applied to it. When high voltage is applied to the IoT, a beam of electrons is created that accelerates towards the collector. The current drawn by it is the beam current, and it is controlled by the bias voltage. The high voltage used is in the range of 30 to 36,000 volts, and the idle current is in the order of 500 milliamps. This is being controlled by a bias voltage in the area of 100 volts. In this transmitter, the bias is adjusted inside the high voltage enclosure. This is where all the high voltage components are located and secured behind a locked door. The bias adjustment is inside the toaster, which is located inside the high voltage enclosure. So in order to make this adjustment, the high voltage has to be turned off and grounded to ensure the engineer is safe. There is a sequence of interlocks that must be opened in order to access the inside of the high voltage enclosure. The engineer must turn off the high voltage, make the adjustment, turn on the high voltage, check the idle current, and if it's not right, then the engineer must do it all over again, as this example shows. In this condition, the transmitter can operate normally. With the interlock key turned, we can ground the high voltage. Next, we remove the interlock key so we can rotate the and release the other keys. With the key released, we can now open the high voltage enclosure. First, we ground to make sure there's no lingering voltages. We adjust the bias voltage, check it on the meter, and close it all back up. Now we put the grounding stick back, close it up, and go through the interlock again. We put the keys back, rotate them, and unground the high voltage, allowing us to turn on the transmitter. Now we apply high voltage and see where beam current comes to. All right, still too high. Now back to the interlocks, rotating the key, grounding the high voltage, and now being able to remove the key for the high voltage enclosure, allowing me to open it. Again, we take the key out, unlock the enclosure, ground all the parts inside, open up the toaster, adjust the bias control, stand up to read the meter, stand up to read the meter, adjust stand up to read the meter uh, several times. Finally, get it where it needs to be. Finally. Almost. There it is. Put it all back together. Put the grounding stick up. Lock it up. Now to close all the interlocks again. Put the key back in. Rotate the master key. Put it back in its lock. Gra unground the high voltage. And... Apply high voltage and see where the beam current comes to now. 400 milliamps, just where I want it to cook this tube. If we could watch all three meters at the same time, this is what it would look like. Let's take a closer look. Here you can see on the left the current adjusting down to 400 mils while the bias voltage is going up to 130 volts, beam voltage remains constant at 30,000 volts. And that's what it takes to adjust the beam current on an IoT transmitter. Some newer versions have the ability to adjust the voltage while the high voltage is applied, so you can watch beam current at the same time. But many transmitters are still like this.